Hey everyone, Tom here. Today we're going to be talking about QTAC offer rounds and key dates for your applications for 2021-2022. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing to do when you're thinking about your applications and trying to figure out when everything is happening is to jump on the QTAC website and to click on the key dates section here. This will take you to a page that looks like this and it's full of really helpful information. Um, if you're a current Queensland Year 12 student, you probably already know, but your, Q, your ATAR, if you're getting one, uh, will be released to you between 8 and 9 a.m. through the ATAR portal, which is separate to the QTAC application portal, on the 17th of December. This first section here is talking about fixed closing dates for certain kinds of courses. So if you're applying to medicine, dentistry, or a creative course that requires an audition or a portfolio, your application will probably need to be in a lot earlier than applications for other courses like business, law, um, arts, engineering, all those other kinds of courses. To find out exactly what date you need to submit your application by, you can go to the fixed closing dates page by following that link and it will tell you a bit more information for each university. This next section here is about offer rounds and that um, is probably what we're going to spend most of this video talking about. I find that offer rounds confuse a lot of people um, and part of the reason is because if we scroll down through this table there are so many offer rounds in QTAC. Um, it's hard to know which ones might apply to you so that's why we're going to talk about that a bit more. Okay so if you're a current year 12 student the 19th of November is probably the first offer round that you are interested in knowing more about. The 19th of November is the last day of school for current year 12 students. So that's the first date that universities can give offers to year 12 students through QTAC. Some universities will make earlier offers directly to year 12 students, but through QTAC, the rules are they can't make an offer until you're on your last day of school. Otherwise, I guess the risk is you get an offer to a university that you really want to go to and then you think, hmm, I don't need to work that hard for the last few weeks of school. So yeah, 19th of November, last week, uh, last day of school. We can see here some more information about what you need to do and by when. So if we scroll up and just double check the headings here, we can see the due date to apply and to submit your documentation. For the 19th of November, it says 12th of November but it actually depends on the university that you're applying to. So for example, QUT and Griffith both have early offers for year 12 students that come out on the 19th of November via QTAC, but the dates to submit your application are different to this date. So for both QUT and Griffith, you need to have applied to QTAC with one of those eligible courses um, in your top one to three preferences, depending on the university. Um, by the 14th of October, which is quite a bit earlier, and you need to have your documentation submitted through the QTAC portal by the 31st of October. Again, earlier than this date. So it's always really important to double check if you're applying for an early offer, exactly what the rules are for the university that you're applying to, so that you don't miss out on that early offer. I'll put some um, links in the description for the different early offer schemes around Queensland this year. That way you can jump in the description, click on the universities you're interested in and double check. See if you're eligible, um, see which courses are going to be a part of the early offer schemes and figure out exactly what you need to do and when. We can also see here that the 19th of November at 8.30 is when you should hear if you're going to get an early offer, which is very exciting. Okay, so the next offer round date to be thinking about is the 23rd of December. This is what we would call the first main or major offer round. Um, QTAC have stopped using the term main or major, but I still find it really helpful because it tells you that that's when a lot of offers are coming out. So in Queensland, the 23rd of December and the 19th, uh, sorry, the 13th of January um, are both main or major offer rounds. Um, they're the offer rounds where most course offers go out. Sometimes a few course offers will go out early and sometimes offers will go out in the top-up offer rounds 
from the 21st of January onwards, but most course offers will go out in December and January. So what we can see here is um, exactly when you need to have applied by, when you need to have changed your preferences by, and um, when the offers will come out for these offer rounds. If you're not sure if your course will offer on the 23rd of December or 13th of January, it's a very good idea to treat these dates as the dates you need to follow and make sure you have your things done by those um, dates listed here. So have your application in by 9th of December and most people will have their QTAC application in a lot earlier. It's a very good idea to aim to do it early and then just update your preferences if anything changes a bit later in the year. They will have their preferences updated by the 20th of December. That's a few days after the ATAR comes out, if, you've, if you're getting an ATAR this year. Um, and then the offers will come out 10th of, uh, sorry, sorry, 10 a.m. on the 23rd of December. Um, one of the reasons to use these dates as a guide is because in the QTAC course search, um, the date listed on a course may not be the first offer around um, when offers are released. So this um, course is a good example, Bachelor of Physiotherapy at Griffith. If we look at the key information on the side here, we can see 13th of January is the offer rounds listed here. Um, universities can only actually put one date in this field. So it's not always an indication that the course will start offering on this date. And we already know that this course is going to offer on the 23rd of December and then again on the 13th of January. So someone who was interested in this course would be following the dates for the 23rd of December offer round. So they'd have their application in by the 9th of December and they'd have their preferences updated by the 20th of December at midday. The other thing that's really important to know with the 23rd of December offer round is that only about half of the courses in QTAC will offer on that date. What this means is if you don't get an offer on the 23rd of December, probably your course doesn't offer on that date. If you're a bit worried and you're not sure if you may have just missed out on an offer for some other reason, you could call QTAC and double check. Um, but about half of courses will offer on the 23rd of December and then the rest will offer on the 13th of January. Okay, so the 13th of January is when all of the courses in QTAC should send out offers. So if you've applied for university this year and you're um, expecting an offer sometime over the next few months, you're very likely to get an offer on the 13th of January. We can see here, last date to apply is 10th of December. You need to have your preferences updated by the 5th of January, and then the offers will come out at 10 a.m. on the 13th of January. If you find you don't get your first preference course in either the 23rd or the 13th offer rounds, then you might find you get an offer in a top-up offer round. These are offer rounds to fill up courses that aren't yet full. So if we think about the 13th of, Jan 13th of January offer round, usually universities will send out offers for all of the places in their course. Um, so if everybody accepted those offers, then the course would be full. But for most courses, there will be a percentage of applicants who either defer their offer or decline their offer, which leaves space in the course. So from the 21st of January onwards, QTAC can send extra offers for courses that are not yet full. And this is a way of topping up those courses. In order to be considered for a top-up offer, usually you need to have conditionally accepted the offer you received in the 13th of January offer round. And I'll put some links in the description about how conditionally accepting an offer works and how other QTAC responses work as well. One other really helpful um, link that you can find on this page is the course vacancy information link. So we can see that information here, or the link is here, sorry. Um, if you click on that link, it takes you to a page that looks like this. Uh, during the offer rounds, this is a super helpful place to go because it will tell you if a course is full, um, which top-up offer rounds the university is participating in, um, and any other key information they need you to know. So if we scroll down, we can see 
okay, ACU, they are participating in these offer rounds in the next few months. So we can see, yes, they're participating in the early offer round on the 19th of November. They're participating in both of the main offer rounds. And they're also participating in this top-up offer round on the 21st of January. They might add some other top-up offer rounds if they don't fill all of their courses by the 21st of January. And that's why jumping up, jumping onto this page regularly over the next few months will help you to figure out what's going on. You can also see here course vacancies. Um, this is really helpful if you're applying for quite a competitive course and you're not sure, um, you haven't received an offer yet, Is the, you want to check is the course full or could I potentially get a top-up offer. This is where you go, you jump on here, you look for the university, have a look under course vacancies and it should tell you if a course is full or not. Um, there's also some other helpful information here for each institution. Okay, so hopefully you found this video helpful for understanding QTAC offer rounds and the key dates coming up over the next few months. If you ever get stuck, please give QTAC a call. They're super helpful and they'll try their best to answer your questions. Um, and just remember, you know, this table here is really helpful for figuring out when you need to apply, when you need to change your preferences by, and when your offers are released. And a quick reminder about early offers, always follow the, follow the institution's rules. So the information in this table may not be accurate for a specific institution. For example, the QUT and Griffith early offer rounds, um, they have earlier closing dates than are listed in this table. Okay, and if you found this video helpful, um, you might consider liking or subscribing to find out about other videos like this in the future. Thanks.